Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this very brief missive of love to us all, I wanted to share with you something that I've been reflecting on, on the, for the past few days. It actually was inspired by a line used by one of my favourite YouTubers, a makeup artist called Ali Glines. And she always says at the end of whatever she's done, um, I'm going to assess the situation or let's assess the situation. And I was inspired by that because I was thinking about those times when I felt dissatisfied with something or frustrated by the situation I was facing. And I began to think that in those moments, what I would tend to do is lean into the frustration or lean into the dissatisfaction rather than taking a step back to assess the situation. Because what I know to be true is that whenever I feel frustrated or disappointed or dissatisfied or confused or whatever it might be, that is a signal to me that in the moment I am feeling those things, I am not expressing what God desires to express through me at that moment. And those are the emotions that God uses to signal to, to us that we're not living, to use the uh, modern vernacular, our best lives. And so this is my encouragement to us all that we step back and assess the situation. At the moment you feel frustrated, disappointed, whatever it might be, I know I'm focusing on the negative, but there is a, a method to that. At the moment we feel that things aren't going exactly as we want them to be, we're going to go back to basics. I love the fundamentals of metaphysics because they are unchangeable. We go back to the basics, that's to say we engage in reverie as dis uh, described by the uh, inimitable <laughs> Neville Goddard. When he says we just relax, lie down, close your eyes, sit down, do whatever it is that you want to do, put on some lovely music or um, have a glass of wine or go for a walk or do whatever it is you want to do, but just allow your mind to take you down pathways of scenarios that show you as you could be or as God desires you to be. And then when you find that scenario that gives you that tingle, remember that strong feeling above the solar plexus that makes you feel that you are opening up around your heart portal, around your, um, in the esophag um, esophagus area, almost got myself tongue tied there. In those regions, when you feel expanded, even in your brain, when you feel light in those areas, when you feel energized in those areas, then we're going to become preoccupied with the scenario that stimulated those feelings. And that's what I'm going to encourage us all to do this coming week. Step back and assess the situation. And when we are doing that, we're going to lean into the scenarios that stimulate the very best feelings in us. Because when we feel good, when we feel inspired, when we feel enlightened, emboldened, empowered, we are being signaled to that this is what we should be expressing instead. And remember, all you have to do is to become committed in your emotion to that. So try to stabilize yourself in that condition. What tends to happen, and I'm speaking from experience, is that there'll be moments or days in which we feel good about things and then we drop that and go back to feeling not so good about things that is not going to enable us to sustain the requisite emotional condition to make the thing that we are inspired by a reality. We have to become stable in our emotion and we become stable in our emotion by becoming preoccupied until we reach that stability. You're not required to take any outward action. You will always be inspired as to what physical step to take, whether to go for a walk to call a friend, to look for a new job, to travel, to go to a particular restaurant or a, a museum or an art gallery or whatever it is, you'll be inspired. And so my encouragement to you is always act on those inspirations. It will, be, it will never be more than you can achieve or more than you can bear. Your inspiration will always be leading you in the direction to the fulfillment of the image that God has for your life. And the beautiful thing about it is that it's going to be better than the best you or I could 
ever fathom or work out for ourselves. So that's all I wanted to share with you this week. Every moment you become aware that things aren't exactly as you want them to be, lean into a new scenario. Just travel in your mind. It can take moments. It might take minutes. Enjoy the process. Once you land on the scenario that shows you as you want to be and you get the confirmation that this is, yes, this is who you are now, then you just become preoccupied with that image. Play it over and over again. Remember to step into it so you're not watching yourself performing. You are the actor in the scene. I think I've said that before, that you're not uh, watching the actors on the screen. You're the actor in the scene. Um, Just allow whatever senses are uh, most advanced in you, whether touch, smell, taste, seeing, intuition, just allow those senses to to run wild and the others will catch up and just replay it over and over again. It doesn't matter what's going on around. The other things are going to dissolve and fade away as you begin to uh, embody, if you like, the new expression. So just enjoy that process this week. I look forward to being with you again. I'm aiming to upload at least every Sunday, but I'm hoping to upload Thursdays and Sundays from this Thursday onward. Um, And I hope that you will join me again on my channel. Do feel free to share any insights or inspirations in the comment sections below. Until we are together again, stay wonderfully and phenomenally you. 